Hello friends, press the subscribe button and the bell icon for more such easy video updates. Friends, today we are going to talk about human evolution. The first stage was Propleopithecus and the other name was Ape stage. It evolved somewhere around 30 million years ago and lived in Oligocene epoch. This is the first stage from where we study human evolution and it looks somewhat like monkey. The place of fossil was phyum deposit of Egypt and what we got in fossil was the jaw and the teeth. The entire fossil was not available. The scientist name and the cranial capacity is not known for Propleopathicus. When you talk about body feature, they were having totally ape-like structure. Their incisors were vertical rather than forward. We have forward, they were having vertical incisors. The second stage of human evolution is Dryopathicus. Other name was Proconsul. They evolved somewhere 20 to 25 million years ago. And they lived in the Miocene epoch. When you look at the structure, they were having ape-like structure. And the fossil was obtained in Lake Victoria, Africa, as well as in Haritalanga, Bilaspur, Himachal Pradesh. Fossils found were legs and heel, not the entire body. And the LBS Leakey in 1930 discovered the fossil. Cranial capacity is not known. Body feature of Dryopithecus, they were similar to chimpanzees. Semi erect posture. Sometimes they can walk direct. And most of the time they were quadrupedal. Complete lower jaw. When you talk about the third stage, it is Ramapathicus. And the other name for Ramapathicus was ape men like primate. Means they were ape but showing some primitive men like structures. They were around 12 to 14 million years ago. And they lived in late Miocene and early Pliocene epoch. When we talk about Ramapathicus, the fossils that was obtained was found in India, Sivalik Hills, and the fossil found was the teeth and the jaw. Basically, the lower jaw was found in the fossil. There was a scientist in the name of G. E. Levis in 1930 who discovered the fossils of Ramapathicus. The cranial capacity was not known. They walked direct on their limbs, means they were bipedal. And the similar fossil was found in Kenya also. Hence they were called as Kenya Pathicus. The next stage that we have is Australopithecus. Other name was ape like man. Means they were man and ape both. They were showing both the characteristics. They lived 4 to 1.8 million years ago. And they were found in the Pleistocene epoch. The Australopithecus men their fossil was obtained in Lime Quarry Town, South Africa. They just got the skull cap of the child. And there were no scientists involved. It is basically the workers of the town who got this fossil. And the cranial capacity is not known. When you talk about body features, they showed the body features of both apes and man. It means they were having partially ape-like characters and partially man-like characters. So I can say that this is the connecting link. Next is Homo habilis, also called as handyman. The primitive man who started using hand. They got opposable thumb, hence the name Homo habilis. They lived 2.5 to 1.4 million years ago in the late Pliocene or early Pleistocene epoch. When we talk about the fossils, it was found in Tanzania, Africa. And the fossil found was the lower jaw. The scientist who discovered the fossil was Leakey in 1964. Now since they were little bit of men type, they showed a cranial capacity of 650 to 800 cc. Means little bit intelligent. Body features, they move direct, bipedal, omnivorous, ate anything, grassy lands. Their lower jaw was lightly built. And they started making tools from stones for hunting and they had small molar teeth. 
Next we have Homo erectus. As the name suggests, erectus, they used to walk erect. They are called as true men. They were around 5 lakh years ago in the middle Pleistocene epoch. When you look at the diagram, you understand they were bipedal in nature. The fossil was found in Java in Japan and Peking in China. When you talk about fossils, it was a skull that was discovered. The scientist who came up with this was Du Bois in 1981. The cranial capacity is a bit higher than the Homo habilis. It is somewhere around 940 cc. Means they are little bit more intelligent than the Homo habilis. The Java men showed some features like we can say they were having a prognathous face. They were 5 feet in length. They are tall. And we can say that the jaw was massive and chin was absent. There was no chin observed in the Java men. When I talk about Peking men, they were having heavy bony eyebrows. You can see the eyebrows, they are very much dense and prominent bone. Slanting forehead and chinless face. The chin was not present or you can say it was not prominent that can be easily visible. When we talk about the next, that is Hedelberg man. Now this Hedelberg man was called as primitive man. Purely you can say towards men's side. Lived three like years ago. And they were found in late Pleistocene epoch. They were having majority of the characteristics similar to man. Fossil was found in Germany. And the fossil obtained was skull. The scientist who discovered was Mayer in 1950 and the cranial capacity of Homo Heidelberg will be definitely more than the Homo erectus. It was around 850 to 1200 cc. The body features, they were more muscular than modern man. They were expert in hunting. They used tools in a very different and wise way. When we talk about next, it is Neanderthal man. They are also called as true men having all the features of modern humans. They lived 1,50,000 years ago in the late Pleistocene epoch. When you talk about the place of fossil, it was Germany where the first fossil was obtained of Neanderthal man and the skull was obtained in the form of fossil. Fulrot was the scientist in 1856 who talked about Neanderthal man and the cranial capacity was approximately of modern man. That is 450 cc. Body was heavily built. Short height, prominent eyebrow ridge. Skull was thick, curved thigh bone. They were intelligent, started using flint stones. They buried the dead ones when they used to die. Means they showed some human behavior. Last is the Cro-Magnon man. The modern man what we say. And they lived somewhere around 50,000 years ago in the Holocene epoch. Now this Cro-Magnon man was more intelligent than the humans, modern man, the Homo sapiens sapiens. Fossil was found in the rock of France. Fossil obtained was skull. And there was a scientist in the name of MacGregor in 1868 who discovered the fossil. And the cranial capacity was 1600 cc. Means they were more intelligent than the current modern man. They were 6 feet tall rounded forehead, distinct chin, narrow nose, broad face. They lived in caves with their families. They were protective in nature, expert in hunting, painting. They made various ornaments from ivory. They buried their dead ones and they developed some emotions and attraction towards their loved ones. And finally what we have is the modern man and the characteristics we all know about modern man. So friends, do like subscribe and share the video and if you have understood give a like to it